Ladies and gentlemen, it's RedGamingTech.com video. We have some news and opinions on the PlayStation 4's specifications as according to NVIDIA. At least according to Tony Tamasai from NVIDIA anyway. I'll read you a direct quote. Compared to gaming PCs, the PS4 specs are in the neighborhood of a low-end CPU and a low to mid-range GPU side. So who the hell is Tony Tamasai, if you're not familiar with him? Well, he is NVIDIA's Senior Vice President of Content and Development. And if the PS4 ships in November, as indicated, it will only be offer about half the performance of the GTX 680 GPU. And he's basing this upon the gigaflops of computing power and texture which was launched in March 2012, more than a year and a half ago. Now, before we give opinions, well, at least I give my opinions on this, um, he also continued by speaking to GameSpot and said, and I quote, I'm sure there were negotiations that went on. By the way, he's talking about whether NVIDIA um, wanted to supply parts for the PS4. I'm sure there were, there were negotiations that went on, and we came to the conclusion that it didn't want to do business at the prices those guys were willing to pay. Instead, Temesai said that NVIDIA, with only so many en engineers and so much capacity, would be willing to, fo or should be able to focus on another portion of his business that he wouldn't be able to do if it did chips for Sony. NVIDIA's projects right now, in case you're wondering, are supplying GPUs for Apple. Uh, the GTX Titan, of course, as you guys know, has just been released and it's an absolute monster. In case you're uh, not aware, go ahead and check out the video. Um, it's also looking to do a mobile processing with the Tiger 4. And also, of course, its own handheld gaming with, of course, NVIDIA's Project Shield. So, is he speaking rubbish? Is he being honest? Is he coming across marketing spin because, you know, they lost out on the deal? In my opinion, well, regardless of marketing spin, he's right. Um, I've said before, and I'll say it again, the PS4 is a very fantastic console. You guys know how excited I am about it. I keep covering it, and it's because I truly do believe that it's a really, really good system. I honestly do believe it's going to be fantastic, and it's going to be an absolutely massive leap both GPU and CPU wise from the PS4, how, uh, sorry, PS3, how much of a leap? Well, it depends on how you measure it, but it's an order of magnitudes. <laughs> well, to be honest, it's between, you know, 5 and 12 is the numbers that people keep pulling out, depending on how you want to calculate it. So let's go with 7, 7 times faster. Um, of course, these are not absolutes, and there are overheads and blah, 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 blah. We're not going to really talk about everything on that, but let's focus more on the PC versus PS4. PS4 is a closed system. The PC's not, but even if it was not a closed system, of course, PS4 is going to lose out. Um, it's a simple case of that you could do so much more with a PC, but, of course, you've got all the inherent costs to issues of the PC. There is of course the issue of the fact that games might not necessarily run as well even on a system that is roughly the same power level. So for example a low mid-range PC will probably run the games worse oftentimes anyway not always than the console counterpart simply because it's not optimized as much for that hardware. I do indeed have a video as well on the channel I probably will link it, but I sometimes forget. It's called PS4 and Xbox 720s versus PS4, uh, sorry, versus PC current gen. And I'd recommend you check that out if you want further thoughts that are my own rather than uh, someone from the video. By the way, of course, same day, um, I've also uploaded a video that NVIDIA is, um, of course, going to be supporting the PS4 at least with physics um so that's an interesting thought to say the least i don't really think that nvidia needs the custom for the ps4 but it would have been nice for them to have the custom from the ps4 after all it's a very solid contract to have on the other hand you also have to remember that they were responsible for the gpu in the ps3 
And so maybe they decided, hey, you know what, this limited us too much. It's very difficult to know what, of course, goes on behind closed doors in these big meetings. Regardless, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and have your own thoughts on this. I would love to hear them. As usual, drop me a line on Facebook or comments or whatever you'd like to do. So anyway, take care and have a good day. Bye for now. Yeah.